Do you know how big the issue of loneliness is at this age? You should know that it prompted the Prime Minister of Britain to appoint a Minister of Loneliness. Did you know that according to Statista, over 30% of adults worldwide experience loneliness? Did you know that loneliness has been proven to be contagious? You should also know that the social connectedness expert Professor Holt Lundstad disclosed that loneliness is deadlier than obesity. You probably now see how dangerously common loneliness is. Nonetheless, there's some good news of sorts from the fact that Dr. Stephanie Cacioppo is working on a drug that would cure it. How effective this can be is still in doubt. However, the scientist feels strongly about the project, especially since she herself experienced loneliness after the death of her husband. One of the main problems with loneliness is its subtlety. You may be lonely without even knowing. Therefore, in this video, we'll disclose five signs that indicate loneliness to you. You stay around other lonely people. You would generally think that they would stop feeling lonely if lonely people came together, but nothing could be further from the truth. Loneliness is not a state of being alone, it is a feeling, and you can continue to have such feelings even in a crowd. Loneliness can be a contagious experience that results from being disconnected and a cause of being disconnected. The research from UChicago that provided that it was contagious also revealed that lonely people tend to share their loneliness with others. So if you find yourself regularly amid fellow lonely people discussing the world's tragedies, you're probably lonely. The proper antidote to loneliness is real, meaningful connections with people who are not always cynical about the world. To know if other lonely people surround you, continue watching this video. You spend most of your day on social media. This can come off as another irony concerning loneliness. You may also have the impression that social media's connectedness would alleviate feelings of loneliness. However, the reverse is the case because most people have substituted real-world interactions with social media. If you find yourself doing things like putting off social events to lying in your room, scrolling through social media mindlessly, there's a good chance you're lonely. A study published in the Guilford Press has proposed that limiting your social media exposure will decrease feelings of loneliness and depression. Limiting Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat to less than 15 minutes per platform every day can significantly reduce loneliness. You're very materialistic. Research published by Oxford University Press revealed that some people become very materialistic because they are lonely. The study stated that such folks had replaced love for social connections with their possessions. Having lots of possessions has little to do with a person's level of happiness. It's not hard to discover this truth, and you can learn more about that here on Psych Me Up. So remember to click the subscribe button. Things quickly become outdated and therefore not valuable. Apple products are guilty of this in particular, thus, if you would rather buy a new phone than pay for a vacation with friends, it's probably because of loneliness. It is generally advisable to spend your money on an experience in the real world with real people because it offers more happiness, fulfillment, and experience. You easily get sick and tired. Humans are naturally built to interact with one another, which aids our health and energy levels. Thus, when a person lacks meaningful connection with other people, he or she would generally feel tired for most of the day, which might lead to sickness. Studies have also revealed how loneliness can prevent you from completing a full sleep cycle. The study was published on the National Library of Medicine website, and it showed that loneliness is a significant predictor of sleep fragmentation. This simply means that lonely people don't get the quality of sleep that people who feel more connected to others get. If you easily get tired and sick, it could be because you lack quality of sleep, resulting from loneliness. You can hardly control your emotions. As stated in a report from Psychology Today, lonely people claim to be highly stressed when faced with the same stressors as non-lonely individuals. Furthermore, the study showed that they claim to be stressed even when relaxing. Some people quickly get angry at little things or start to cry profusely when things don't go their way. It may be caused by loneliness, and the worst part of this is that it leads to even more feelings of loneliness. Loneliness is a pandemic now, and you should treat it as seriously as the COVID-19 pandemic. It easily leads to depression, and you can learn the signs of depression in the next video. See you in the next one.